followers of all things gravel bike racing is the location. Gravel bikes and farm country go together. The best gravel bike routes are often in rural areas, where dirt road networks link farming communities and towns, and rural Kansas is a farm state. With the treasure of dirt roads, it really makes for the world's most esteemed gravel bike race. Unbound started as the Dirty Console back in 2006 and it was renamed Unbound Gravel in 2020, the location and spirit remain unchanged. Unbound Gravel is indisputably the world's most prestigious gravel bike race. The 2023 edition is scheduled for the 3rd of June and features 3 races. There are two 200 mile routes and one 100 mile option. Technically, the routes are slightly longer than the rounded category names, with the 200 miler totaling 205.5 miles and the 100 miles, clocking 103.1 miles on the overall field is nearly 4,000 gravel riders. Unbound Gravel starts in Emporia, Kansas, and routes through all the best riding that rural state offers. Unbound features rolling topography, ideal for gravel bike racing. The climbing profile might not feature exhausting or category A climbs, but over the 205.5 mile pro racing distance, the topography combines for a total elevation gain of 9,100 feet. Unbound Gravel's defining feature is the Flint Hills, a legacy of differential erosion, covered with prairie tall grass. The road surface is deceptive, with a greater frequency of sharp rocks than most would anticipate. Tires and thunderstorms. Gravel bike tires have improved remarkably over the last few years, but rain can drain nasty little rocks and stones to the unbound gravel route such as after a heavy downpour. Group riding dynamics at unbound gravel are skilled anticipation between balancing the benefits of aero and rolling clear of puncture risk. Western thunderstorms are reality for unbound gravel riders, and the predictions are for scattered thunderstorms during the race. Unbound requires an adequately robust tire casing to resist puncturing, but with a tread that will efficiently shed mud in the likely event of a thunderstorm. Headwinds shouldn't be an issue, as wind speeds across the course are predicted to be mild, with a maximum speed of only 14 km per hour. Remaining faithful to the independent streak of gravel riding, organizers emphasize self-support during the event. Riders can receive external support at two checkpoints, Eureka, 79 miles, and Madison, 167 miles. The other two stops are neutral water points at Texaco Hill, 42 miles, and Hamilton, 124 miles. Who to watch in the men's field? Australia's Lachlan Morton. Keevan Swinson, finished second last year and will be keen on pressuring for a win. Howard Grotz is one of America's most promising cross-country mountain bikers of recent memory, will be a definite contender at Unbound Gravel. Defending Unbound Gravel champion, Dutchman Ivar Silk, will be leading the European presence. Lawrence Ten Dam and Jasper Rockalowin are the other notable Dutch riders. Good to watch in the women's field. The Argentine rider Sofia Gomez de Lothane is the defending champion and dominated the event last year, riding solo for nearly half the route. Haley Smith should give Smith tremendous confidence after winning the Belgian waffle ride Vancouver Island. Emily Rockwell won the 2019 event and the track at 360 in a record time, which makes her the form women's rider. New era rules. The organizers of Unbound Gravel T are aiming to make the event safer by reducing bunch riding crash risk due to reduced steering control, which is a reality with aero bar riding positions. Unbound Gravel organizers have banned handlebar modifications which allow riders to adopt an aero position. This will unquestionably alter the strategy and group riding dynamics, especially in the first third of the route, when riders are more tightly grouped. Without aero bars or accessories at this year's event, it returns to a truer test of rider flexibility and pain tolerance on the bike. This should return Unbound Gravel to the ethos of gravel biking, instead of dirt road time trial riding. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe.